I'm glad to announce that now I have two new sponsors for this podcast. This portion of the Scott Townsend Show is brought to you by Pops Daylight Donuts. Pops Daylight Donuts has the best donuts, sausage wraps, and pastries in Northeast Oklahoma. The staff is exceptional. They process your order fast. And if you tell them, hey, Scott Townsend said for you to give me a large spicy pig, they will give you a free large spicy sausage wrap. But you have to tell them, hey, Scott Townsend said for you to give me a large spicy pig. That's crucial. For more information on store hours, location, phone number, you name it, see the show notes below. Pops Daylight Donuts. Go get you some. And by Castafly Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Adventure. That's where it begins. We look to create and document our moments in time while embracing the majestic wonder and beauty of the great outdoors. Our quest is to explore the back roads of the Ozarks, camping, fishing, and just getting lost. Refresh your spirit and join us on our next adventure. Paul and his crew invite you to subscribe to the Castafly Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Welcome to the Scott Townsend Show, brought to you by Dietzo Man Productions. Hey, this is Scott Townsend, and thanks for joining the Scott Townsend Show. And today I'm back with Mark McKinnon. Mark, how's it going? Going great, Scott. Good, good. So in the last uh, couple of um, episodes of this uh, 57 pieces of advice that I would tell my younger self, um, we've talked about voting. Right. We talked about uh, what else? Are we ta- we, t- we talked about ten percent uh, away. Ten percent away. Mm-hmm. We talked about always doing your best. Your best, yes. Mm-hmm. Today you picked number randomly. You picked number thirty-two. So I looked on the list here, and I hope this isn't too loud. I can adjust it. Number thirty-two is. This is. And this is in no particular order. Like, number one's not the number one thing. It's I got just, you. These, it's just, these are it's just, just there. brainstorming. Sure. Uh, 32. Muscle is made in bed, torn down in the gym. So is this a G-rated program, or is this, is this maybe R-rated? I'm not sure what we're talking about here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not even sure uh, that's a piece of advice. Well, actually, it is. <clears throat> Here's what I mean by that. Um, people... When they go to work out, people think that when they go to the gym, they're they're building up their muscles. Okay. And in actuality, they're tearing down their muscles. Right to they're, rebuild them. They're ripping down mm-hmm. their muscles mm-hmm. by you know with re, with resistance with weights. It's during the rest time when your uh, body is repairing itself. That's when your muscles. You know, get bigger, grow, repair. Unfortunately, people miss out. This this is probably going to be a short episode, but anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, people, most people are not getting enough rest. Sure. So when you go and work out, you go jog, you go what you know, whatever. If you're not getting a good solid, you know, eight hours, seven hours of sleep. Then your muscles muscles don't have the opportunity to build themselves like they could. Mm-hmm. So, Mister Twenty Year Old Scott Townsend, or anybody else for that matter, if you want to build, and this would be a good thing to tell kids, if you want to build strong muscle, big muscles, you know, mm-hmm. then go ahead and go to the gym, knock yourself out. Just make sure that you get a good seven to eight hours of quality sleep, which will help you in more ways than just building muscle. Sure. But uh, from a muscle perspective, from a phys- phys- from your uh, physical perspective, you give your body time to grow and repair. And and uh, you know, a lot of people want to go to the gym and get bigger biceps, muscles, whatever. But if you're not giving yourself the required time to get plenty of rest, you're, you're not going to get what you could if you did get enough sleep. Sure. So that's saying, what I meant by. So you're saying that rest. Is a, a key ingredient in. But you never hear anybody that. talking about that. No, it's true. You're, but you, but if you're someone who lifts weights, uh, like I've done that a long, long time in my life, 
you know that you don't lift or work the same muscle groups two days in a row. The reason for that is for time for your muscles to recover. Mm -hmm. Like you're saying, they're ripped. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to cause them to recover. And when they recover, then not only do you gain strength, but you gain you gain mass. Mass. Mm -hmm. Size. Size. And so and so and so and also you're also just naturally inflaming that muscle mm -hmm. when you lift, you know what I mean? Right. And so uh, so that's a, that's a good point. I, I've never thought about the importance of rest, but rest is a very important thing for so many grow. things. Oh yeah, for a lot of, I mean rest is important for being at rest will save you. Let's just talk about that for just a second. That that part of this, the, the importance of being at rest. Sure. I learned something very important this last um, month. I was in Minnesota with my son who had broken his fibula and his tibula. And um, so I was talking to the orthopedic surgeon and he told me there's a misnomer out there. And I said, well, what is that? He said, most people think that they break their bone uh, when they fall. He said, the truth is, is that most people break their bone before they hit the ground. He said, because you tense up. So when you tense up, you, you put yourself in a place for a bone to snap and break. Uh, and I said, really? He said, yeah. He said, you know the phenomenon of how someone can be inebriated and be in an accident and, not and have nothing happen to them. He said it's because they're totally at rest. The other person breaks bones and stuff because they tense up. And so the bone hmm. snaps not because of impact, but because of what you do before impact. Hmm. And so I thought about that, and I thought as a believer, I thought, wow, no wonder God spends so much time emphasizing the importance of rest, being at peace, so that when something impacts you in your life, you're Some, more resilient. You're more resilient. It doesn't it doesn't break you into a million pieces. Instead, it seems as though you can absorb it and get back up and keep going. That's an interesting thing to me. Yeah. So rest is really, really important, hmm. both in your body. And let's talk about it in your mind. Yeah. You've got to be at peace in your mind so that you can take on the bumps and bruises of living in this world without being coming a broken down person with, with concerns and worries and anxiety and stress. And God has a plan for that. It's called rest. And so proper rest in your mind will cause you to be able to succeed daily in your life. Take, taking a step further, um, I, I uh, decided to make Sunday a day of rest. And when I first started, that was so hard. That was so hard. I mean, yeah. It's distracted, you know. Just, anyway, now I've been practicing it for, for, for more than several months now. <clears throat> it is nothing for me to just sit there lay there not do a thing all day and it's it's great you know i, I had to build up the ability to do that actually because i was so used to going 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 that when you're not going 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 you get fidgety and you know you, you but now it's it's easy what's the benefit of that for you so when I'm rest so so when I'm resting on Sunday, number one, I know I'm doing the right thing. Number one. <clears throat> it's this recipe that we're supposed to follow. And so number one, I'm I, I know I'm doing the right thing. Number two, um, just throughout the rest of the week, things seem to be, you know, okay for the most part. But if at the end of the week you find yourself being stressed out or tired or whatever. You know that Sunday's coming, and there's not a darn thing you're doing all day, and that that's very comforting too. So, I just, uh, yeah, I've blocked that time, man, and we're not going doing nothing on Sunday. So is that a whole day, Scott? That's a whole day, brother. So you've gotten to the point, except for church in the morning, and even then I'm thinking, 
No, I understand. So you're saying you should have a day where you can sleep in, get mm -hmm. up, maybe eat breakfast, go back, lay down, mm -hmm. take a nap, read, watch right. a movie, go back to sleep. It's right. just a day of doing nothing. And you feel at first like it's a huge waste of time and that it's let you're lazy and whatnot, but I'm telling you now, there's nothing between getting between me and my Sundays. And you've, you've accomplished something that probably 90% of the, the human race uh, doesn't want to do. I mean, yeah. it's just everything is against I didn't want to do it to begin with. Everything is against you doing that. Um, I guess our pastor, both we have the same church, he, he spoke to us about the importance of a Sabbath, which is a day of rest. rest. And he talked about how that um, God wasn't asking you to do it. He actually commanded his people to do it. Because he knows the benefit of it even greater than we do and what we'll need. And uh, I, I can see the benefit of it tremendously. I do the same thing. I'm, I'm a person who takes a Sabbath. Uh, I've done it now for at least two years. And when I began, it was a, my Sabbath consisted of a, an hour. So I'm just being honest. That was a stretch for me. Yeah. One hour of just oh, yeah. sitting still. Heck yeah. Um, but I have got it to the point after two years where it's about four or five, six hours where I just, I just totally allow myself to do nothing. What a, what a incredible feeling it is. Well, I'm, like, I'm like you. I don't let anybody interfere with that. I'm eating lunch alone that day. I'm, I'm walking alone that day. I'm watching a movie by myself We're not that going day. To anybody's no, house. No, no one's coming over. We're not interacting that day. <laughs> this is just time to just, it, it, like you said, it's kind, kind of time to, to put the battery chargers on your life right. and just get a charge so you can make it through the week. Mm -hmm. You know, if, uh, there's just a couple of things I find interesting. Tithing is something that I think is very important. Mm -hmm. We've been commanded to do that. We've been come. There's not a lot of things we've been commanded to do. Doesn't mm -hmm. seem like, mm -hmm. but tithing and resting mm -hmm. are things that he commanded us. The that God commanded us to do because he did it. Mm -hmm. After seven days, let the land rest for seven days. That's why. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I get frustrated seeing businesses open uh, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, never shutting down. Um, you can say what you want about the pandemic that we just went through, but uh, I think it was good for people to be shutting down for at least a little bit, you know, to recover. Um, well, you were like me when I was a kid. Yeah. Nothing was open on Sunday. No. You weren't, you weren't going to a retail store to buy anything. No. You had to get everything done by Saturday or you weren't getting it. No. And that yeah. was fine. Everybody we, we was, never missed a, a lick. And I know as, as a business owner, people ask me all the time, you're really missing it not being open Sunday. I'm thinking, no, I'm not missing anything. <laughs> I'm not missing anything at all. What are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, all my employees know they're going to have one day, full day off a week. I know we're, I'm going to have a day off to go to the shop. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and so there's so much more to it. than I'm sure there's more that we don't even see right. that God intended for us. <clears throat> A lot of times, uh, so for youth, if I were to tell them they need to rest, a lot of times um, they seem to be resting a lot. They're always sleeping in, staying, you know. So to tell them to rest is almost like you're telling them something they probably already know or are taking advantage of. So I don't know if that's true or not, because total rest is not not sleeping. It's it's um. Stopping. Teenagers don't stop. Twenty-year-olds don't stop. Not many of them. Mm -hmm. I remember the saying says, "I remember asking guys saying, hey, 'Hey, I'll sleep when I'm dead.' Yeah, and you're yeah. right. You will. And, <laughs> and, and, and that will be you, sooner than later. And if you don't rest, that day will come quicker. <laughs> you know exactly. That's I mean, right. God doesn't make any mistakes. He, he, why did he? He didn't say it wasn't of any value to. Uh, to take care of your body, he just said that it wasn't as valuable as taking care of uh, taking care of your spiritual side of yourself. But there's value in taking care of our body physically. Right. That there just is, because our body was made to self-heal. 
And so to give it give it time to do that. Mm-hmm. Do yourself a favor. Why do they, you know, why do kids sleep so long much when they're little? Because they're growing they're like growing. Weeds, you know, you hear that all the time. So they have to rest or their body won't it won't grow. Probably stunted. That was an interesting little uh, side trail there, Mr. John. Uh, from muscle, <laughs> muscles made in bed, not in the gym. Uh, very interesting subject. So anyway, if uh, I guess that's it for this episode. Um, muscles are made in bed, not in the gym. <clears throat> I guess there's a, the, you got to have both. If you're not going to work out, then yeah. So anyway. If you like this episode, uh, you know, we invite you to like it, share it, subscribe. Um, and yeah, on YouTube channel, the same thing. Uh, for Mark McKinnon, this is Scott Townsend. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. The Scott Townsend Show is a Dietzo Man production. For more episodes, visit the Scott Townsend Show YouTube channel, listen on Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your favorite shows.